Um, next speaker is Charles McQuig, followed by Jessica Rodriguez and Winnie Devlin. May I have some help with the overhead projector, please? I guess that's going to be too small to do any good. Uh, I'm compelled to begin tonight by uh, pointing out that each of you has uh, about 10,000 constituents who are students in the APS, and that their interests are your interests and worthy of your close attention. A little more than a decade ago, the Albuquerque Public Schools Board of Education voted to remove the role modeling clause from their standards of conduct. They re removed the clause in order that they could not be held legally accountable as role models. Ever since, there have been double standards of conduct in the APS. Students are expected to hold themselves accountable to higher standards of conduct than their senior most adult role models. A school board member, or excuse me, a school board candidate has emerged who's willing to put the role modeling clause on the table for discussion. I was deeply disappointed to learn that two council members, Gibson and Davis, attacked this candidate for, quote, talking about reinstating the role modeling clause, which is vague, coded language. I don't know whether you can read it, but it says, in no case shall the standards of conduct for an adult be lower than the standards of conduct for students, as spelled out in the student handbook. I'm wondering if either of the counselors would like to explain in words that an APS student can understand what's vague about the role modeling clause. And I'm wondering if you'd be willing to point out the code, the coded language in that statement. I know, that's very convenient. The APS board doesn't take them either. But the point is, is you guys lied to the people you sent that flyer to. Thank you, Mr. President. I really don't know what that was about. I have no knowledge of that. Thank you. You a letter and you returned. You, you, you responded to the letter. Don't pretend you don't know what I'm talking about. Thank you. 